and we have our outdoor furniture set coming today. I'm so excited. I drink iced coffee now. You guys, I just <laughs> I just put this in the fridge and realized I forgot to put garlic in. <laughs> this is a blow up doll with her husband's face on it. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another daily vlog. I've been really just loving doing daily vlogs. So on today's agenda, I am gonna do a workout on Peloton, shower, hair wash day. Um, we have our outdoor furniture set coming today. I'm so excited. We ordered this gorgeous outdoor dining set um, from Homery. And I also got an outdoor rug to go underneath it from Amazon. So I cannot wait to show you guys the dining set from Homery. It is freaking gorgeous. They had a ton of amazing stuff on their website. Like for real, they have so many gorgeous, gorgeous pieces. They have so many products for your home and they sell um, both indoor and outdoor furniture, lighting and much more. And what I loved, they have this 48 hours dispatch section where you can get products that will be delivered to you within 48 hours. And they sell different kinds of outdoor furniture sets too, but I'll show you guys when ours comes in later and how it looks. I cannot wait to show you guys. Literally, I was amazed <laughs> at how much cute stuff they have on their site. Um, so I'll show you guys that. We're also getting um, a quote to epoxy the floor in the garage where our gym is um, because it's very dusty on the floor. <laughs> like anytime we walk in from the garage into the house, like it gets like dusty footprints everywhere just because it's like the classic kind of concrete floor. Um, first and foremost, we got to make the bed. <laughs> it so far I'm like a third of the way through I've been doing my natural cycles um, birth control via basal body temperature I do that every morning yeah let's start our day okay so as I mentioned I'm trying to be better about marinating meats <laughs> because like I love buying pre-marinated meats because I often forget to marinate them in the morning for the nighttime but alas today I'm going to marinate my chicken for the euros I'm making tonight Euros, gyros, I thought it was pronounced euros, but God knows I might be wrong. So uh, I'm gonna do a Greek yogurt marinade for the day. It should make it like super tender and flavorful. So I thought I'd show you guys. Oh my God, also, also I gotta tell them, I drink iced coffee now. <laughs> it's very exciting. Everyone told me if you wanna get into iced coffee um, or coffee, just start with it being really sweet. So I do um, a blonde roast because it's less strong, mellow and bright. This is the one I drink because um, I like like coffee frappuccinos, but they're like just super unhealthy. <laughs> um, I like them like super sweet and sugary and like it's just not good for you. So um, I do this and this zero sugar um, Italian sweet cream really good and yes it's very light but I heard that's a normal way to start with coffee. And then I put a little bit of this sugar-free um, caramel syrup in it as well. And it's delicious. So that's my way of entering coffee. And honestly, like, I officially get the hype. I know, it looks probably like milk, but it's like 70% coffee and then I do like 30% of the sugar-free creamer, but it's so good. And they say over time you'll add less cream and you don't need it as sweet and you get used to the coffee taste. Um, judge me if you want, but I think it is absolutely delicious. And if you wanna get into coffee, that's the way to go. And you guys, it's a different type of energy. It really is. It really is. It's cause I'm, it's also cold brew. Yarman said cold brew is stronger. So anyway, let's marinate some chicken. Okay, we're gonna need Greek yogurt. First and foremost, we're gonna need garlic, vinegar, lemon juice, oregano, salt, pepper, and olive oil. Um, I'm gonna do fresh lemon juice because I have that. So let's grab some lemon. 
Oh my gosh, I can hear our front yard is currently getting dirt drip dropped off. <laughs> we have like a mound of dirt. Uh, okay, so chicken breast. I'm only gonna do one of these packs. Salt and pepper. Gotta grab the oregano. I've got my spices right here. This project was so worth it. If you guys missed it, I did this organization in our old house and oh my gosh, <laughs> I'll link the video if you guys want to see that, but I really enjoy having my spices organized. Okay, so I am just gonna eyeball everything. Um, we're gonna do about, about how much? Three tablespoons of Greek yogurt. I've seen people do a lot of marinating with Greek yogurt and it seems like a vibe. So uh, a teaspoon of salt, some black pepper. It doesn't even say how much to do. I also am obsessed with these. I got these on Amazon. I've shared them like a million times, but they are awesome and they freshly grind your salt and pepper. And then about one and a half tablespoons of uh, oregano, which is a lot. Three tablespoons of lemon juice, which is also a lot. So I'll probably do a total of like one lemon. Ooh, that's, that's a stubborn lemon. I should have rolled it first. We're gonna do about a tablespoon. Baby, can you grab me the vinegar in the pantry? About a tablespoon of vinegar. And that's it. I'm just gonna throw the chicken in here and cover it with a little plastic wrap. And I'll let you guys know how this is tonight when we have it for dinner. I got some roasted garlic bread, pita for Yar to have his on. I'm gonna have mine on like a low carb wrap, but I got him like a roasted garlic pita non bread. Not pita, non bread. Oh my gosh, this actually looks like it's gonna be so good. Okay, we'll report back. You guys, I just, <laughs> I just put this in the fridge and realized I forgot to put garlic in. <laughs> But I did actually, before I put the chicken in, I tasted it a little bit and it's actually really good. It's like lemony, it's um, acidic, but it has like a nice element of creaminess with the Greek yogurt. So, all right, I'm gonna add this in now, but <laughs> in case y'all noticed, this girl forgot the damn garlic. Damn information, y'all ready? All right, let's go. Normal situations with everything that we have. And we can be proud. You guys, I am dripping, dripping sweat. That was really intense, but it was really good. I've been doing the ones um, with arm workouts in them as well. So I can get a little muscle strength action in there too, but oh my God, <laughs> time to shower. Okay, so we actually, sorry, my flip flops are squeaky, but uh, <laughs> we just got some groceries delivered because Lily's bachelorette is tomorrow. So I got a bunch of stuff for that. Okay, so I got a couple jugs of water and actually since this video is going up days after the bachelor i'm going to show you some wicked cute stuff that i got on etsy for her batch it's so so cute i'm so excited to throw this for her so her favorite candy is reese's so i got two packs of reese's she also loves cheese and crackers so i got a pack of crackers so the plan for the bachelorette, I rented a cabin and we're in like a group chat with all of her friends and we all split the cabin. It's up in New Hampshire and it has like a bunch of bunk beds. It has an air hockey table. Like it just seems perfect. It's on a lake um, and we're going to like just go out to dinner and just play games. I have a bunch of games. I'm going to bring my disco ball, my speaker, like it's just going to be a fun little party. Um, I got gluten free Oreos because she is gluten free. Um, I got gluten-free tortilla chips. This was for our house because we were out of it. Toothpicks for our house. Um, I got some salsa to go with the chips. Oh, I got a bunch of pina colada mix. Uh, and you just add rum and ice in the blender because she's really into pina coladas right now. So thought that would be fun. I can't drink yet, which is a bummer. Um, for the next morning when we wake up, I got her a mini cream and tomato and onion. That's for us. And I got her um, a cold brew. I'm sure they'll have sugar at the cabin. Oh, I placed a Whole Foods order too. Um, I got, for the next morning, gluten-free donut holes, a fruit platter for the morning, um, gluten-free crackers to go with the cheese. 
I think that's all I got for snacks because we're going out to dinner. So I'm like, I don't know. And there's only going to be six of us. So I don't think it's going to be like too crazy. Um, but I got myself also some more cold brew. She likes coffee. Who is she? Okay, let me show you guys the adorable Etsy stuff. And she was actually here yesterday. I was doing her um, trial makeup for the wedding. <laughs> Thank God Yarman caught it. The box was open when she walked in, or right before she walked in, and he closed the box. So first I got um, a bottle of Prosecco, which Lily loves, and then I got this um, handmade Etsy. It's all from Etsy, like a little cover for it, super cute. These are personally my favorite. <laughs> These hot Cheetos come in this little bag, and I have a picture of her on it. <laughs> They're so cute. This is a blow up doll with her husband's face on it. <laughs> She's gonna crack up. And I got this big draped cloth to put on the front door of the house. She loves Harry Styles, so I got this candle. <laughs> I thought it was fun. Oh my gosh, and I found um, an Etsy shop that does custom gluten-free cookies. So look how cute these are. Just like a bunch of different styles. So, so cute. And then there's just like a ton of like decorations, balloons and streamers, uh, plates, cups, certain shaped items that I don't want to show on YouTube. But yeah, everything came in in time. I'm so excited. So yeah, Lily came in yesterday and then she came and saw our house. I did her makeup trial uh, for her wedding. Gorgeous. Just, I can't show you because obviously her wedding's in June. I can't wait. And then she's coming back to sleep here tonight and then we're going to the bachelorette tomorrow together. And it's like a really long drive. So um, we're like, well, let's just drive together. And I'm like, okay, I'll put everything in the trunk. And when we get to the house, I'll back in and you're gonna have to wait in the car for like an hour while I go set up. <laughs> but that's fine. She's willing to wait, but oh, I'm so excited. Like, I can't believe like my two best friends are getting married. Lily and Gabby, like that's crazy. So very excited. Great news, the Homery dining set just got dropped off. Yara and I are gonna assemble it when he finishes work. Um, also just whipping up um, some salmon for lunch. I did salt, pepper, cumin, garlic powder. This is regular paprika. It says sweet paprika, it's just normal paprika and some thyme. Look at that crispy pan sear and of course a little bit of sriracha. And a little koopy mayo, so good. All right, it's finally time to shower. And then we'll blow dry our hair. Okay, I just showered. I'm going to throw some of this in my hair before I blow dry it. And this is my favorite lotion right now. It smells so good. All right, so I actually just did my makeup on an Instagram Live. I love doing makeup on Instagram Live. So make sure you're following me there so we can hang out. But look at, ooh, I got Flexitarian highlighter on. I grabbed one with Lily yesterday at Ulta. I forgot how freaking incredible Flexitarian is by ColourPop. So yeah, I'm just gonna quickly blow dry my hair. I'm not doing anything crazy, because honestly, I've been wearing my hair up a lot since it's been shedding so much, but I put in that way hair, like, what is it called? Leave-in conditioner. And I'm just gonna take a little Olaplex bonding oil. So, I mean, the good thing is, even though I'm having hair loss now from the surgery, if you missed that, like literally, <laughs> like it's just, I can't even tell. Like every time I run my fingers through my hair, it's just like hella strands come out. So I'm just really thankful that I have a lot of hair and like I can't even really notice it as of yet, so. I'll be back when my hair is dry, and then Yar and I are gonna assemble the home reset. Okay, so Yar is meeting with the epoxy people in the garage. I am going to hang these, because I'm just gonna consider this a deck transformation at this point. So here is our deck now. I have my egg chair in this corner, and we're gonna put the rug and the table in this corner, and probably just move this down here just so it's a little more open. Um, and then put the lights. It's gonna be so pretty. You guys, there's no outlet. <laughs> I'm so upset. There's an outlet downstairs because like a walkout basement, but there's no outlet like down. But, like I'd need an extension cord, like an outdoor long extension cord. There's none up by the deck, which I find very weird. Oh, I'm so bummed. I'm so bummed. <laughs> Thank you. 
Guys, look how amazing it looks with the rug underneath. Okay, so great news. Yarman actually has um, an extension cord for outdoor. So I can put the lights up so we can do like a reveal. And like it matches the egg chair so well. Wait till there's lights. Guys, the table is good. The quality is so good. I love the aesthetic of it and I love the way the cushions fit perfectly. So it feels like they're not gonna blow away or anything. <gasps> it looks so beautiful and I like love the ribbing on this. Guys, this was so easy to assemble. The chairs came assembled. We literally just put those two legs on in the middle piece. <gasps> it was so, so simple. Oh my God, do you hear those geese? <laughs> beautiful. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> so intense what do you guys think do you love it and homery had a ton of other outdoor sets like really really good i will link it i'm also going to link a discount code from them uh because you know what i think we all need to just romanticize our summers and sit outside and just make a cozy beautiful space wherever we go oh my gosh i am in love i'll link the set below if you guys want to grab it and then the discount code again oh and they're wicked comfortable too oh, oh i'm so happy yeah okay you guys so my mom came for dinner we had our euros we looked up the pronunciation and it was euros <laughs> um and okay so the feedback on the marinade the marinade was delicious but i didn't feel and i let it marinate a while i didn't feel like it actually got into the chicken i didn't feel like it really like the chicken was not that flavorful to me like feel free to share a different chicken marinade that you would recommend because i was kind of disappointed but like my mom tasted like the sauce because there was some left on the tray from when i baked the chicken and she was like this is really good i feel like maybe next time take some at the end and like put it on the chicken after you know from the oven like the leftover sauce so because it was really a delicious sauce it just didn't get into the chicken enough regardless I do love me a gyro. And I, so I do um, hummus, Greek yogurt, tzatziki, <laughs> cucumber, um, and feta cheese, and then onion optional. And you can always add like lettuce and stuff too. Banana peppers if you feel it, I just didn't have any. Um, but yeah, so it's starting to get dark. I'm gonna show you guys how the deck looks when it's uh, dark out to wrap up this vlog because it is so pretty. You guys, it's finally getting a little bit dark. Oh my God, it's so freaking cozy. Do you guys hear the crickets? I love it. It looks so freaking beautiful with the lights on. I can't get over how much I love this dining set. I really can't. I'm gonna take this off. It's for aesthetics right now, but I'm afraid it's gonna blow over. <gasps> yes. Oh, the perfect way to end this vlog. Don't forget to check out Homery below. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in another vlog very soon. Bye!